Good morning drummers, today I am at Mega Music in Myri, Western Australia and I'm going to show you how to select a pair of sticks. Okay, so obviously there's plenty of sticks to choose from. I don't want to get into which sticks you know you should or shouldn't use or what's the right size and weight. That's a, a topic for another video. But assuming you know the sticks that you're using, what I'm going to show you is how to actually make sure that the pair you're grabbing are in fact a pair. Uh, now when the sticks come to you from the factory, they'll be typically sleeve nowadays with a, with a cardboard sleeve. Uh, can't assume that that's actually going to be a pair. They may have been when they left the factory, but um, shipping containers, humidity, changes in environment, remember this is wood, it's a natural product. So all of these changes in the environment can affect the way these things uh, turn out by the time they get to you in the store. So what I would do is I would find the stick that I needed, grab a few off the shelf. All the good drum stores will allow you to do this. We're just gonna come down onto the floor Ideally what you want is a flat surface, something hard and preferably carpeted um, for, for reasons you'll see in a moment. But the first step would really be to take a few of these out of the, the sleeves. And what we're going to do, it's probably going to be a little hard to see on, on camera, but what we're going to do is we're going to roll the sticks and we're going to watch the tips. Now if the tips wobble, it means that the stick itself is not straight. And that's one of the, the most uncomfortable things to have to work with when you're playing drums with sticks that aren't straight. So roll the tips. Just watch that tip, uh, roll the sticks and watch the tips. If they don't wobble, that's great, it's a straight stick. So you go through and you just remove the ones that are not rolling straight. And what you'll be left with is a bunch of sticks that at the very least are straight sticks. Now there's actually another way that you can check for the straightness of a stick. And to show you that, I'm actually going to hand over to my good mate Darren Viseko, who's gonna run you through the alternate method. So guys, another good way to actually uh, check this out, um, to make sure your sticks are straight. Um, when I went to a, um, one of my drum uh, stick tours, they actually taught us that in the left hand over here, we could actually hold the, the, uh, the stick where the, uh, the piece of paper is there that wraps the stick, and actually just actually holding the bottom stick here, and then spin the top stick, and actually look along this line here to make sure that the stick is straight. So as, as, you're, actually, actually, as you're spinning the stick, you can actually see that there's no gap there as we're spinning the stick. And that is one of the best ways to actually check out whether the drumstick is actually round. Now the second step, and is equally as important, is to make sure that these sticks are the same weight, feel, and density. Uh, and there's actually a pretty novel way that you can test for that. So what we do is grab a stick, and then on the hard surface, just tap it. Now, it may not come out too well on my, um, on my microphone here, but you might be able to hear that that gives off a pitch. It gives off a specific note. And all I'm gonna do here is order these sticks from the lowest pitch to the highest pitch, okay? So you might be able to hear that's a little higher. Even higher again. So you should be able to hear between these two. So it's like a semitone out. And if you're holding the sticks too tight, you won't get anything. So just make sure that it bounces in your hand, or if you're not even good at that, just drop the stick. Okay, so what I've now done is I've put these in order from lowest pitch to highest pitch, and essentially now I just want to grab the highest pitch uh, where the pitch is actually matched. So the highest two sticks, so those two match. They feel about the same, they roll straight because we've tested for that, they go back into the sleeve and this is the pair that I want. Uh, now, of course, in good form, you wanna be able to grab all of those other sticks as well, put them back in the sleeves and back on the shelf to help the next guy and obviously the store manager. Um, but yeah, so that's it. Roll them to make sure that they're straight, tap them to make sure that they give off the highest pitch possible and a pitch that actually matches for both sticks and you've essentially got your pair. Right, I'd like to thank Darren and the guys at Mega for allowing me to come in and shoot this today. Um, make sure you like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next video.